Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show how to select a perfect research topic or title to your thesis or dissertation. Here are five tips. The first one, check whether the topic you choose is in line with your thematic area or field of study. In this regard, you can ask or advise your professors or advisors or teachers. So, choose a topic that's interesting to you. If you choose a topic that's interesting to you, then it, the research process will be enjoying for you or you will enjoy all the research process and it will be very easier for you. So, the second point is to choose a research topic that is very interesting to you. Sorry, consider the scope of your topic. The scope of your topic uh, should be as narrow as much as possible. For example, if you are interested to conduct a research in inflation, then uh, first you have inflation, then you have to narrow it to determinants of inflation, and then disregard determinants of inflation in Ethiopia. So your final research topic will be determinants of inflation in Ethiopia. So uh, the scope of your research topic should be manageable as much as possible. The first point in setting a research topic is the availability of related literature. If you have no available literature in your research topic, then it will be uh, very difficult to manage your research. So, uh, as much as possible, you have to select a research topic that has enough related literature. And the final tip, the fifth one to consider is the research methodology, the availability of data, the sampling technique, the method of data analysis, the means of research software you use, and so on. So when you select a research topic, you have to consider the best, the best methodology, like sampling technique, analysis, and the method of presentation and so on. So uh, in today's video, we have seen five points. The first one, the thematic area should be aligned with your research uh, area. The thematic area, your, the topic should be aligned with the thematic area or your field of study. The second one is the scope. The scope should be as much as possible it should be manageable and the third one is the methodology you have to consider the methodology of search and the first one is the ability ability of related literature and the fifth one is you have to choose a topic that is interesting to you and the fifth one is you have to choose a topic that is interesting to you.